So now let's take up the next question which was question number 32. Let's read the question first. This question says a ray of light of a pure single color is incident on the face of a prism having angle of the prism 30 degree at an angle of incidence 45. Now just to make this question more clear to you what I am going to do is I will just draw the diagram here. See have a look at this figure. Here in this figure you can see that there is a prism and what is the angle of the prism that is given to us in the question let us highlight that as well. Here you can see that the angle of the prism is given to us as 30 degree. So what I am going to do is I will just mark here also the angle of the prism which is this that is 30 degree. Now further the question says about the angle of incidence. Now here by having a look at this figure you can clearly see that this is a normal. So this angle here is 45 degree that is angle of incidence ok. Further the question says the refracted ray does not change its direction as it crosses the other face and emerges out of the prism. So here this is the refracted ray and the question says the refracted ray does not changes its direction on coming out of this phase. Now when does no refraction occur? So this question basically talks about the condition for no refraction and we know this will happen only if light ray incident normal on a boundary. So it means here this refracted ray falls normal on this second phase of the prism which means this angle here is 90 degree. Okay, we know this angle of prism is actually given by the formula A is equal to R1 plus R2 where R1 and R2 are the angle of refraction at these two surfaces. Now clearly here the light ray incident normal on this face it means R2 is 0. This implies that R1 is actually equal to the angle of prism that is 30 degree. So here this R1 comes out to be 30 degree. So what I am going to do is I will just mark here also that this angle of refraction is 30 degree. Now let us say what the question further says. The question further says the refractive index of the material of the prism is. So in this question what we need to find out actually I just have solved half of the question. So for the complete solution of this question what do we need to do? So now what I will just do is I will just apply Snell's law here at this phase of the prism. So let us apply that. So on applying Snell's law I will get sin i. by sin r is equal to n2 by n1. What is n2? It is the refractive index of the prism and n1 is the refractive index of AO which is 1. n2 we need to find out. So I will just apply, I will just substitute the values. So it is sin 45 divided by sin 30. This is I am taking the refractive index of the prism to be n and n1 is 1. So n will come out to be sin 45 that is 1 by root 2 sin 30 is 1 by 2. So it will be 2 by root 2 that is root 2. So the refractive index of the prism comes out to be root 2. Let us have a quick look on the options. So here you can see that option 3 is the correct option. So I can write it here for you as well. Answer of this question is option 3. So I hope this question is clear to you. Now let us take up the next question. 